With the death toll due to COVID-19 mounting in the United States, those working at funeral homes are dealing with multiple challenges. We take you inside a funeral home in Florida. 26-year-old Bradley Georges is a funeral assistant in Florida. He has a tough job. Not only is he exposed to the virus every day, ever since the virus started wreaking havoc, his only human interactions have been coronavirus victims at the funeral home where he works. Since the beginning of the pandemic to now, I've done about 28 to 32 removals of positive COVID patients, whether they are at a hospital, uh, the medical examiner's office. Um, so, as I said, it's been very challenging since the pandemic has started. But Bradley has no regrets. He sees this as a blessing and is glad to be able to offer his services. I do expect numbers to keep growing. Uh, I do expect us to keep, you know, being more out in the field now. Uh, we are going to continue to take all the precautions we need to take. And, you know, I see it as a, I see it as a blessing that I'm able to, you know, offer my services to, you know, other families or whatnot, because it's something that everybody wouldn't do. The period of isolation comes with multiple hardships and some tough decisions too. Bradley decided to move away from his family in order to protect them. Yes, it has impacted my social life drastically. Um, I don't spend as much time with my family now. I've actually uh, moved to another location to protect my mom and my brothers as well. Um, as far as friends, I don't hang with friends, you know, as often because I'm exposed to this virus much more now. Florida has a population of about 21 million. It has recorded more than 5,000 COVID-19 deaths. Traditional funerals are not common, with simple cremation being performed. Right now, there's probably approximately 25 to 30 percent more deaths in Miami-Dade County. But the people are having less funerals, they're doing simple cremation, they're not doing the visitation, they're doing something private, they might do a private graveside, but they're not, they're not having the big traditional. We've had a few big traditional funerals, but, but not as many, nowhere near as many as we used to. With the death toll rising, alternate arrangements will have to be made by this funeral home. We are having to hold more families' loved ones because they're taking longer to approve the cremation because in Miami-Dade, the medical examiner and in the whole state of Florida has to approve the cremation. So I am looking at alternate storage issues that we're having because our refrigeration units, we're holding more bodies now. Bureau Report, we on.